All right, it is a rainy Saturday afternoon and we are on our final box of pennies. Of pennies. How many boxes have we opened up this weekend already? Um, seven. Seven boxes. Um, we've had pretty good volume wise. We've uh, got about 200 wheat pennies, one Indian head penny, mm -hmm. and a bunch of um, Canadian pennies, but nothing super rare, nothing super old other than the Indian head penny. So we decided to go and make a video of this last box of pennies to see how we do. So we'll share it with you. It's penny time. I think we just found a Canadian penny right there. All right, let's take a look, see what you got. Oops. Ooh, here's a Canadian. Um, It is 1968. Okay, good it's... first find on the first roll. That's so great. we just found a wheat penny. In the same roll, roll number one, right? Yep. Okay, there it is, what do you got? And it is in 1949. Okay, so pretty common. Uh, something we don't need, but we'll definitely add it to the pot. Okay, so second roll. Uh, first roll, uh, Carter found a wheat penny and a Canadian. Canadian. So second roll, right on the end there, as Ender, as most of you call it, is a 1993 Canadian. Okay, so in roll two, the only other thing we found was a 2009 uh, Primitive Years penny. We don't really save these. We don't even really care about the 2009s like a lot of people do because of low mintage we do look at the 2009s uh, the primitive years to see if there's any errors on the extra fingers or whatnot we've only found one ever not that big of a deal to us honestly a lot of people probably want to know too like why don't you keep the copper or why don't you keep this yeah. we are literally in it for the wheat pennies uh indian head pennies mm, canadians. canadians any foreign currency mm -hmm. uh, it, you know flying eagles anything yeah. like that so we don't really care about all of their stuff, and we're certainly not going to hoard a bunch of copper. All right, just open roll number six, and we can see it sticking out in here. A wheat penny. There's a <laughs> wheat, and looks like that is a 1958D. Extremely common. We probably have a couple hundred of these, but again, we'll <laughs> definitely add it to the pile. Hard to see. We kind of dump these out to so spread them out a little easier. Number eight roll here is Canadian. Canadian. Eh, it's 2000. All right, no wheats in that roll, but uh, again, we keep all the foreign currency we find, mm -hmm. so that's a keeper. So this is roll number 11, and you're going to see, ooh, a Canadian. Ooh. A 1974. And let's... Hmm. Okay, so roll number 12 has got a real dark wheat, wheat penny. penny. You want to turn it over and yeah. take a look at what we got? Um, 1936. All right, 36. Wow. Well, we'll definitely add it. So far, it's the oldest one we found yeah. in this box. All right, roll 14. One Canadian penny. Are we going to keep it? Yeah. Of course. Okay, so we dumped another roll. Now it pops this wheat penny. This is roll number 18, yep. and it is hard to see, 1941. We've been through 20 rolls of the box so far. Give us an update on where we are. So, we have, um, as you see, we have four wheat pennies and we have five Canadians. Right. And we have a bunch of dumb <laughs> coins. Yeah. Not looking real good for this box, but you know what? That's just part of it. It's kind of luck. Do you think we're going to have better luck the next part of the box? Um, no. Uh-oh. Well, no. Let's, let's take a look and find out. Yeah. 21 and we have a wheat penny and it is a 1946. 46. Okay, so maybe the next 30 rolls will be better than the first 20. Mm -hmm. Keep looking. Let's see what so we got. Roll number 22. There is a wheat penny. Uh, I should explain that by the time you see these most of the time, we have already seen them. Um, we've already opened up the roll and taken a look. It is just that we don't want you to sit here and be like, oh, wow, look there. They went through another roll and got nothing. Yeah. So it, it would be a little too long. So we will show you as we find stuff. I, I think that's a 58 card. You mm -hmm. take a look at it. 58D. 58D. Okay, roll 22. Let's keep going. So roll 27, we have a wheat penny. 
1945 penny. All right, pretty dark. Add it to the pile. We're uh, not doing that great today, but we'll keep trucking along. Okay, roll 30. We've got another week. 1934. We'll definitely keep it. Look for some more. We found another wee penny. What, roll 32, right? Uh, yes, 1950D. 50D. So really, we're not finding anything today that we need to fill our books. Mm -hmm. But we do keep every wee penny that we find, uh, regardless if we need them. So we'll definitely keep that one. Let's keep going. <laughs> Roll 37, we have another wheat penny. Oh my gosh, it's a 1925, the oldest one we have, guys, so far. All right, good deal. Maybe our luck is changing a little bit. Let's keep taking a look. Okay, final roll. <laughs> what are we gonna roll get? Roll 50. Oh boy. <laughs> no. nice. Last box Marcus. is done, right? Yep, and we'll show you what we got. Okay. So here is six Canadians. Mm -hmm. And we have 10 wheat pennies. So really not a great box. Um, no, it isn't. This is actually not our worst box of the eight that we checked this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. um, and overall, because one of the boxes we had really good, we got 67 wheat pennies yeah. in. So overall, we still got uh, about 210 wheat pennies, a bunch of Canadians, and some fillers for the albums. And then, of course, stuff just to add to the collection. Oh, and the one... Indian uh, head, right? Yes. Okay, which obviously we didn't show that on the video, but uh, this was fun for us anyway. It's always fun to find pennies, especially when the weather is nasty it's as it has been today. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. Please leave us some comments below. We will be adding more videos. Uh, again, this is just us starting out. It's a little rough, but we've had a lot of fun, and we hope you have too. Who are we? Coins and Currency. And you can also find us on? Insta. Insta. See ya.